What's up guys welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm gonna show you on how to make an interactable chest so you go on to the chest and you hit E or whatever key you want and the chest will actually open so it's gonna be a very easy tutorial to follow and quick so let's get started all right so the first thing that we are going to need is to create an interface so first of all let me just create a new folder uh, chest all right so what I'm going to do is just go here so right click go into blueprints and say blueprint interface so this will allow us to communicate with other actors without need to directly cast into the object etc it's just much easier for us so in our case I'm gonna name it interact uh, interface there we go yeah so now we go on open it and just put it on here so we have this function created on here so you just go ahead and um, change the name so we're gonna name it interact uh, with chest okay for example you can also name it interact just so it will be more generic but anyway literally we don't have to do anything more just rename this function compile and save and we can just close this okay so now let's go ahead and import our chest so uh, I have let this uh, model in the description is from sketchfab and is completely uh, free so let me just go ahead and drag it so you would just drag the files into well unzip uh, all the things first drag it uh, the skeleton leave this open all these import skeleton mesh things like that and also make sure you have import animations on and you say import all in my case I already have imported it and I just have it in here models uh, chest and also what I did was uh, in the two materials I just assigned um, each uh, you know mat uh, texture with this uh, you know thing uh, is is in the name of the texture so it's very easy anyway you can use your model too so anyway so once we have the chest and uh, you can see that we have the opening animation and everything so let's go ahead and create the blueprint for it so I just go into my chest uh, folder and you say blueprint class and say actor okay I'm gonna name it BP chest and go ahead and open this I'm gonna place it in him here all right so first of all we have to add a skeleton mesh that's gonna be our chest of course and gonna head and find it in here so there it is chest all right this is absolutely massive let me kind of crease this and point it on here so the forward is normally going to be pointing on there so there we go we have it uh, placed on here so now let's implement the interface that we created before so just go into class settings on the top in here and you can see that we have a section called interfaces and we have implement interfaces no interface just, just go into add and then let's find r1 which was the interact uh interface so now we can just go into the events graph and we can go ahead and make a, a call so when we you know call the interface uh, function that we create you can see it's interact with chess so we can just right click and it's implement event and it will actually uh put us in here you can also you know uh you know whatever like uh you know find it on here but it's easier just right click in here and it'll create so what we want is to actually uh you know play the animation of the chest uh we can also make a print so for example uh, so we just test uh, opening chest right so we will know when the chest is opening but what we want to do is play the animation so we can just drag this and say play animation uh for the chest you can just drag it in here or whatever and then we're gonna find the uh chest animation which is the open we're gonna leave a uh, looping disabled of course so now we can just compile and save and now we can just go ahead and go into the uh, third person uh, character blueprint or whatever just find a spot all right they want to you know, do the things and i'm gonna say that for example i hit e key i want to go ahead and open the chest that is uh, near me so go ahead and drag it also one thing first is that we need to a space to detect if we are near the chest so i'm just gonna go ahead and create a box collision and this is gonna be our you know trigger for the chest and go ahead and just uh put a bit up here and let's make it in the extent on here a bit bigger um i mean i think it's too big but you can go ahead and play around the values as you want and now in here we're gonna say that is make sure to be overlap all dynamic so we can you know detect our uh player going in but it wouldn't create a block obstacle so we can go through 
So now, yes, we go back into our character and when we hit E, and we are gonna run a for each loop with a break. So it will run through a list of um, objects and we can stop it. So the array is gonna be the get overlapping actor. So it will basically get all the actors that we are, you know, overlapping in the trigger that we set on here. So the zone in here. And uh, we're gonna, you know, search for chest. So a BB chest. Then we are gonna go into each item that we have, you know, found. And what we are gonna say is thus implement interface. And now we can select the interface that we created, which is in, uh, interact uh, interface, this one. All right, and now we can just drag this and say branch and for each item in the true. So now we can just drag again our item, which is the chest, you know, and say um, interact with chest, which is the event that we created on here, which is the inter event interact with chest, which is the one that we created in the interface too. And then after this, I'm going to say to break it, okay? Because we actually want to just, you know, open one chest at once, you know, just in case they're like two overlapping or whatever, right? So, okay, we have that. So now we hit E, we'll search and stuff. All right, so now we can head back into our scene and just drag in your chest. Uh, in my case, the one's a bit small, but you know, I'm gonna make it big on here. So now we can hit play, just come over into the chest, and when we enter the trigger and we press E, you can see that the chest actually opens. Now it's actually um, the wrong way of facing, but you know, just like this and make it bigger. Hit play. I come to chest and I hit E and I will actually go ahead and open it and there we go. So yeah guys, that was the tutorial. If you found it useful and it was easy for you, please give a like and subscribe so you can check out my other Unreal Engine 5 tutorials. Also, I would appreciate it if you could leave a comment on other Unreal Engine 5 tutorials that you want to check out. And also, just a quick thing, you can of course make it like for example in here it will add the items to your inventory and things like that after we play the animation in the event on the chest group. Okay, so you can expand this of course more than just playing the animation. And also playing sounds or whatever you like. So, with all that said, bye bye.